Hi, I'm Kyle Siegerts and today we're going to be talking about Delta's corporate image. Now in talking about Delta's corporate image, we're going to break it down into four dimensions. We're going to break it down into common product attributes, benefits, or attitudes. We're going to talk about Delta's relationship with the people. We're going to talk about corporate credibility. And we're going to talk about the values and the programs of Delta. Now, let's jump right in and see what Delta has. Now, in the in these four dimensions, I have subcategories to these. Now, for the first one, in common products, attributes, and benefits or attitudes, uh, I evaluate if Delta has a high quality corporate image. And now, as I regret to say, I did not find that Delta has a high quality corporate image from the people. From the people, the reviews, it says that the, the business class is not much different than an economic class. Now I've never personally rode with the business class before but I've, I, can, I was basing my information on reviews and multiple people said that they've been upgraded to the business class and there is not much difference if any from food, drink, seating arrangements and that sort of thing. So and also the quality of Delta services were half and half. Uh, out of a five star rating, Delta seemed to be getting consistently a 2.5 to 2.7, even sometimes as low as a 2.3 on flight websites for reviewing Delta and other airlines. So as I was reading in the comments, the quality of Delta services doesn't seem quite there. Delta seems to have good intentions, but it doesn't seem they're executing. Um, going off of quality, it, customers are consistently looking for if Delta is being innovative. And from my research, I'm not entirely sure if I'm seeing that. I see Delta on their website isn't advertising anything new but they're talking about their business class the Delta One experience, the business class experience and making it easier for the customer but also other airlines are doing that as well so I wonder if there's some areas we can improve in there to help more appeal to customers so the next one is people and relations um, the customer orientation it seems that Delta is very consistent with their employees and their services. Uh, a lot of a lot of their ser a lot of your, your all services uh, seem to be inconsistent when it comes to you all saying that a, co a co the commercial will say the most used flight uh, out of any airlines and it's the most on times and the least delays but with the people that are talking about Delta I'm not seeing I'm not seeing that they are saying what you're saying they're saying that a lot of the flights get canceled a lot of them don't show up on time and even when they get canceled it seems that there are some uh, Delta locations that they just kind of they feel like they don't care about them and this came up a lot in reviews. It, a lot of people said Delta did not care for their consumers, their customers. And so that kind of took me off and I did a little bit more digging and it's a lot of it is because of the flight attendants. It seems the flight attendants don't care. I'm not saying Delta doesn't care, but on the that level of Delta's corporation I think maybe could use a, a tune-up or a, uh, just evaluating what flight attendants may be doing. Uh, there's multiple reviews of people saying that they rung the bell for attendance and they weren't coming or they're very snobby um, to and unwilling to help the customer. So that those are some things that I saw uh, with the relationship that Delta has with its people. Uh, now moving on to the values and programs, this I thought was really cool looking on your all's website. You all are doing a lot of great things here and I think this can help with the people in relationship if they knew more about it. Maybe they could even get more involved. Uh, to start off, 
you all seem to be very concerned with the environment. I read multiple paragraphs where you're not only trying to improve uh, air, or fuel efficiency in the air, but you're also on the ground. You're also trying to improve how you operate things to save uh, the environment by recycling things, reusing things, you know, putting them to different uses. I thought that was really cool. Um, I also thought it was really cool you're building uh, uh, Habitat for Humanity homes. I thought that is a really good selling point to customers because nowadays everybody's moving towards environment friendly and I think the Habitat for Humanity homes are really going to catch people's eyes when they see that. And something I also thought that was really cool is you all seem to take the, res the responsibility of the environment. You all are taking action. You all are, you know, you all seem to be the most proactive airline out there about environmental friendly uh, ways. Um, and it's really cool because you all are very transparent about that and you all don't hide anything in that category. Um, and the next one is going to be for the four dimensions is going to be credibility for Delta. Um, now with Delta Cor Delta's credibility, um, I broke this down into three subcategories. There's expertise, tr trustworthiness, and likability. Uh, for the expertise, Delta seems to have a good system going for them a well-placed system, but I'm not seeing it executed very well. Uh, some notes that I put is uh, that Delta claims on their commercial, multiple of their commercials, that they're the most on-time flight service out there and the least cancellations. But with an average rating of 2.3 to 2.7 out of five stars, majority of that is contradicting what Delta says. Uh, so to the people the expertise is not there but to a company, the pilots, the trained staff that you all have I'm sure are experts they just aren't showing the customers how good they are. Uh, Delta's trust, trustworthiness uh, can be improved it seems to me that uh, Delta uh, needs to re-establish its trustworthiness with its customers and consumers, um, it, especially with the flight times and the service from flight attendants and when a flight is canceled, getting them the correct refund. and. A lot of times when somebody's flight is canceled, they get directed to your all's 1-800 number and I think it'd be better if maybe a person was there to help them with that because a lot of times, I know there are people there, but it doesn't seem like in the reviews that they're willing to help. So maybe have a different service there for them. Uh, the third thing is likability. Delta is very likable. Their commercials are amazing. Their heart. Uh, they, they hit you right at the heart um, and I think Delta is doing a really good job with this and you know with Delta and their commercials and their advertising they need to keep reinforcing uh, that they will have on-time flights and that they will not be canceled uh, so I think Delta has a lot of potential here now in all of this said I have two really good recommendations for Delta. Uh, for one, to establish a better trustworthiness for Delta and to help create a better overall brand corporate image for you all, um, I recommend that in commercials you establish a you establish trustworthiness with your customer that you are going to have on-time flights and that you are going to uh, take care of them and that they are valued. And that comes into my second thing. Delta needs to, I feel that Delta can do a better job of showing the customer that they are important and they are 
uh, that Delta does care about them because in the reviews a lot of those reviews said how uh, people didn't think Delta cared for them especially when cancellations or delays came up so but with those two recommendations I feel like Delta will be f way better and I feel like if you all focus on that uh, Delta will be booming and Delta's corporate image will significantly increase so I thank you for your time and I hope you have a good day and thank you for letting me talk have a good day